Hello and welcome to another video from me, Paraplays. And yes, it is time, my friends, my subscribers. It's time for us to get into the Escape from Tarkov map. Shoreline, which is one of the new maps. It's time to get in and actually go live. No more running around the warehouse looking at things. This is the real deal. This is the PvP aspect. So once we get in here, anything I lose or anything I find, if I can extract, I keep or I lose everything. So this is going to be completely fresh for me. I'm doing this live. This is the first time I've actually done this. In fact, this is only the second time I've actually booted this game up with the first time being, if you haven't seen it in the first video. Here we go. Oh my God. First video, we had a little look at the graphics. So here we are. My first time escape from Tarkov. Raid 1. It's 1.34 and we are an operator. And here we are. So beautiful graphics since we're getting a little bit of a little bit of the shadows flickering a little bit but look at that weapon beautifully modeled here so here we are i've got no idea where the exits are i don't know how to extract now let's just head down a little bit give it a little bit of pace down here and see what we can find see if there's any buildings let's just be careful here because I don't know whether the community in this game camps. I don't know how many players are on the server. I don't know anything. All I know is, is that I'm para. I'm an operator. I'm on the field. And I'm hopefully, hopefully, going to kick some ass. Let's just get in this porter cabin and see if there's anything in here. A toolbox. Well, we know there's not going to be a weapon in here. Oh, oh, I can hear someone. Just being quiet and listening. Now that sounded like he ran around the back of this. Let's just see what's in here quickly again. And then we'll go out and see if he's out there and pop some caps. What have we got in here? What is this? Cigarettes? What's that? Spanner? What is that? I'll tell you what, let's just grab it all anyway. And we'll worry about that after. Since we've had somebody running around out here. Now I'll tell you what. As soon as I heard him then, my adrenaline went. I've not had that in a game for a long time. Because, of course, even though I've got five pistols, if I die five times without getting any more kit or extracting, I will have to come into the game with just a knife, and if I lose that, I'll have nothing. So I'll have to keep coming back in in order to be able to get some gear. Oh, I thought I heard somebody... I thought I heard somebody then. Now, I wonder in this game whether there's a sort of like shoot and bait, if you know what I mean. Fire a couple of rounds off, get three or four of your mates who are in a squad to annihilate you. Whether I'm on this with the same amount of sort of ranked players as myself, again, all these questions are never answered in this game. I know it's beta. But you think there would be a little bit of information to tell you these things, but I'm sure I heard him round here somewhere. Let's just sneaky beaky over here and see if there's anything in this building. Seems to be no audio of me moving through the bushes. This is beta. I might just hoof it over there so that he can hear me and see if we actually get into a firefight. There's nothing. Let's hoof it into the bus. See if we can see anything here. Well, I can't hear anybody moving. Let's just see if there's anything on the bus. You kind of get into that thing of thinking it's like a zombie apocalypse where there's going to be suitcases left for loot. It's not that sort of game. It is quite realistic. Let's maybe shoot the glass out in a minute. Maybe that might attract him and he'll know I'm over here. Maybe we get into a fight. Nothing in the bush shelter. I keep thinking it's some sort of zombie apocalypse. Of course it's not, and there's no point in me looking in the trash bin, para. It's not a zombie game. So, I'm sure I heard somebody running around here. Let's just move it over into one of these buildings and see if we can get a weapon or anything over here. Let's just be careful here. Well, 
I might as well put a neon sign on top. Now that's over to my left. I was going to say, let's close that door. Might as well have put a neon sign above me and saying I'm over here, but I kind of do want a little bit of action. Let's see if my pistol skills will allow me to take this guy out. Is there anything in here that's worth... I can't imagine now if there was an RPK or an AKM. Or an SU. Or even an M4 in here. Oh, the audio in this game is beefy. Get your headphones on with a bit of bass. I said my blood dripping out of both my ears now. That's exactly how loud a real pistol will be. People don't appreciate. I fired some assault weapons with earplugs and ear defenders on, and it was still loud. So there you go. Just seeing now whether I can sort of bait him out a little bit. Now, if I get a little bit further into this video and it goes on forever and there's no action, I will cut some of it out. So if it cuts at any point while I'm doing this video... Oh! Now that sounds close but not too close it does sound like he's down further than those telegraph poles or oh, that's what I'm guessing from the audio in game it sounds like he's further down there somewhere old Russian tank there let's just move up his in this gypsy caravan nope and there's nothing in here. I don't know whether the loot drops are in the same place every time, whether it's random. Let's see if I can bait him out a little bit. Nothing. Nothing at all. Some nice goodies there. First aid kit, a few other little bits in there. And I can hear somebody keeps firing directly in front of me. Now, I think he's doing what I was doing. He's firing in order to say, I'm over here. Come and get some. Just checking there's nothing in these boxes. So I think what we'll do is we'll go around and let's see if we can get in a firefight. On. It's not that. It's close and yet it's not close. that makes. Right, he's definitely over to my left. Whether he's baiting me out, I don't know. Let's just be careful here. Okay, let's just run down. I haven't got a huge amount of kit. In case I lose it, I've only got a pistol and a few little bits. Is he in that fort, Kevin? Oh, it sounds like he's further up. Let's just keep pushing, keep pushing, keep pushing. Don't get overconfident, Para. Be careful here. What this game does bring is that sense of fear. Because it is so quiet and it's almost like you know, the sheep and the wolf hunting each other, that's the aspect where this game shines. And there is 24 hours a day and weather and everything else. When you get night vision and the wind blowing, you won't be able to hear people running around. But does that mean people are just, just literally not going to move and camp? And I don't know how they're going to solve that. Is he around here? No. Come on, you bastard, where are you? Let me have my first kill. He could be in this cabin here. Could be anywhere, para. Me sneaking across in the open is probably not the best tactic either here. Maybe we should go look around the edge here. Come on! Fire a few rounds off. God, he's gonna, he might be waiting in this door on the left. Or oh, is he going to be around this corner? He's here somewhere. What are you, sneaky bastard? What's that? Tell me some good... Oh, give me a rifle, please, please. As you can see, there is no hood whatsoever, no crosshairs. I need to be worrying about food and water and injuries and everything else like that. And also, I don't even, you may notice oh, the lack of music. I think that adds a huge amount of atmosphere to this game. The sound effects in this game are brilliant. I do think that some of the walking through the underbrush and things like that is a little bit too loud. But 
Oh, he's baited me out. He's close, and there's nothing in there. What well, we've got a pair of pliers. Oh, I'll we'll rip his nips off. What else have we got in here? Right. A few little goodies. He's extremely close. Where the frick is he? What I want to do in order to keep this video low is, I don't know where the exit is. I don't have a map, I don't have a compass, I don't have anything. This is going to be a real frustration for new players coming into this game. And how they're going to solve that, I don't know. Maybe you should have a basic compass, or be shown where the exits are so that you know where to go. How do you stop people camping those areas, etc, etc. These are all questions that I actually don't know about this game. Well, 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 I've just found a body. Which makes me wonder, is somebody going to pop my head off as soon as I get near this guy? Or is it going to be a matter of he hasn't got anything worth getting? Let's just have a quick look here. Oh, well, we've got a pair of sunglasses. And we've also got a beanie hat, which is going to give us zero protection whatsoever, but it may help with the temperature should it get night time and start raining because there is all that thing to think about with the, some of the stats down at the bottom and he's also got a nice knife here whether that's better than the one I've got I don't even know whether it works like that you stab somebody with a knife you're still gonna kill them so that's our first body that we've actually found does that stay persistent on this server till the end of the the server shuts again no idea if any of you know about this game and you've got a little bit more experience I would love to know some of the, these fundamental questions and are how I actually end this, how I get off this map. I've got no idea where I'm going at all. Now, I've actually re-overdubbed this part of the audio on the gameplay. I can do that with the OBS. And what you're about to see is I am about to die. Die terribly, die, die, parry, die. Got completely lost. I heard a river. I thought maybe a river goes down to the sea. There might be an extraction point down there. And lo and behold, while I'm here having a sniff around, I ran across a couple of other people on the server. And as you can guess, being a noob with just a pistol, I got my ass royally kicked. So there you go, taken out by a hand grenade. You know, whether I actually got some shots on that guy, it was more of a panic thing, and it looks like they did actually shoot me in the leg because I was limping to one side on the actual video. But that is Escape from Tarkov. You can see I was shot by Odin. Killed in action, 25 minutes in the server, and there's some of the stats on screen. And that really is my first foray into the first raid on Escape from Tarkov. Frustrated as in I don't know how to extract. I'm sure there is resources and things like that on YouTube with a little bit of the Google. But should you have to do that? Well, that's that's time will tell, I guess. But that's my first game of Escape from Takoff on the PvP aspect of it. I've just lost everything, including the pistol and everything else in that game. But do you know what? It has got its own charm. The graphics are beautiful. The audio is fantastic. And I'm sure I will be doing some more videos, so if you want to see some more on Escape from Tarkov, please let me know, subscribe, thumbs up, and hit that subscribe bell, and you'll see some videos on my experience with Escape from Tarkov. Thanks for watching. I've been Paraplayers. Bye-bye.